Hi everyone, it is the time of the month to show you all of my completed pages from November. Now in um, October I did over 100 pages, not quite so productive in November. That's partly because I didn't have workmen in quite so much so I was able to record videos, which is nice. Um, but uh, also, I'm not really sure, I just didn't quite get as much done. Um, oh, I put some Christmassy things on that page, which was fun. So I've got... Um, 72 pages across 30 books to show you. So let's get going. Let's move that aside. I'm going to start with the Johanna Basford Planner. Oh, it's on the wrong page. I just need to tip it. Um, hang on. Yes, there is our... I'm not sure if I showed this one last month. This is the October the first month. This is why we should put a piece of paper behind the page. <laughs> I don't just to show you and that bit of glitter I drew on but look at that so that was the um I probably did show that page last month so I didn't count it in my count let's move across to this one so this is the 7th of November's planner page so this was done with Ergus um Stella design journey sorry I say Ergus of the colors are the same with a bit of um um pastel um, soft pastel in the background now with all the planner pages there are videos so if you like them you can go and look them up and find the video um, this one is from um, they're all from Johanna Bassford's book so you can look at the original picture in the book if you don't have the planner this one from Magical Jungle I did this one with the Castle Arts watercolour I was playing around with the watercolours they've rather um, the pages a bit warped but that happens when you add water it's also splodged onto the other side because I shut the book too quickly. <laughs> I'm really not very good with water. Anyway, that was the elephant. He's got a little shiny bit on his back, which is fun. There we go. Then we did our crab page. Um, we've got a bit of shine in the sand there as well with a bit of shiny glitter pen. And that was from Lost Ocean. And the last page, which I am going to show you, is the fuchsia page. It's from World of Flowers. Look at this. A mess. Let's tuck that under there. You can't see that. <laughs> is the, um yes, the fuchsia page. That was done in um, Castle Arts Gold. This one was done in Prismacolor, just because I didn't tell you. I'm supposed to be telling you what I'm using. So that's the planner. The next planner page I really like. You're not allowed to see it until the video comes out on the 5th of December. So you'll have to wait for that. But we will move on to another Johanna book. We have Rooms of Wonder. Um, I've do, been doing quite a lot from this. Um, I think, you know, being a new book and a new Johanna book, it's uh, I'm always wanting to do a lot. So this one is um, from a video, which you may or may not have seen. Um, I did a little portion of it for you. I use polychromos. Um, polychromos always go down well in Johanna's books. Um, but... I haven't found a pencil that doesn't, to be honest, but I know the US paper is a little bit different to the UK paper. So if you're in the US or anywhere else, um, it may not work the same. This was a fun buddy colour I did with my friend Michelle. Um, I used pastel tint. In fact, we both did. We both used our pastel tint pencils, um, the Castle Arts ones, which was a lot of fun. And this one out of shot and let's move it up slightly there we go um let me what did i use for that one the stedler design did i, did I? stedler design journey apparently <laughs> and um again this was a buddy color with michelle and there are little stars in the sky in a bit of glitter pen i don't know how easy it is to see but um and the candle but it was a lot of fun and it actually felt slightly less daunting than some of the pages because we've got this border so it's a little bit smaller um, it feels a bit more contained we also did this one as a buddy colour it was a lot of fun I did get a bit stuck I did my sunflowers decided having a yellow background and didn't know what to do with my honeycomb but my friend Michelle helped me out gave me a colour combo polychromos so these are the sort of Naples type yellows these so that one is as well anyway a red vide up behind that for the orange sunflowers it's great fun and um, the bees all sparkle I did a little um, video of this a little reel on YouTube so that you could see the sparkle because it's really hard to show it up 
like in a still photograph and I did a little border around each of the flowers up here in just a dark sepia because with this yellow they didn't really stand out and it was just a quick thing and it made quite a big difference and I kept a very limited colour palette as you can see now this one again limited colour palette um, what did I use for this? I'm just having a little look across. Um, polychromos again. But as you can see, yes, I used the light thallow green for the leaves. I don't know what whether that was a manganese violet. Excuse me, I'm not sure. But uh, it took a lot of work on the uh, on the background to get it even looking like that, which isn't particularly smooth. And we have the uh, silver stars in the background. I had so much fun with the chimney and the bricks so that was fun now this one was another video series that went out in november so our steampunk um animals which was good fun now these were done with castle arts metallic pencils you might be able to see the shine a little bit if i tip the page a tad so they were fun it depends how close it's to my light so so there's that series available if you missed it and I also coloured this key. This was done with Prismacolor. Um, this was a video. I'd been asked if I could show how I did the keys in the front of the book, which I showed you last month. So I did this one as a video, so that was fun. And I also did this little page. It's a little bit of a cheat to say this was a page I completed. But I did the hat and the book, which was good fun. And I used polychromos again. So a lot of polychromos in this book. But uh, that is everything I did in that one. I just need to make myself some space to um, put the books that I have flipped through. Let's pop that one across. That's it. And now we have our last um, Johanna Basford that I did this month, which was World of Flowers. And it was another video series where I did this page. Um, I'd already done this page quite a long time ago. And I was getting a request to finish it, so I did this page. Now, the pen that I've used um, for the um, black is very shiny. You might be able to see that in the lamp. It's a glaze pen, Sakura, but it's really sticky. I've had glaze pens from a different br brand, and I thought they were sticky because they were cheap, but these are sticky too. So um, I can see where it's come off here, where the page stuck together, even way after the pen was dry. So, to be honest, don't know if I would buy them again um, just but I do like a shiny black pen it's really tricky but uh, there we go right let's move to Rita Berman now so here is her land lander book and I did this page this um, I a lot of the pages um, I did was sort of autumnal themed um, this month um, I really wanted to get, I love autumn colours, so I really wanted to get into my warm autumn colours before we moved on to Christmas, which I am now doing. It's very exciting. I do love Christmas too. So this one was done with um, Prismacolors. Um, I, I've been experimenting more with my Prismacolors, getting a little bit more daring. I began to realise why I don't use them. I was using them yesterday. There's so many. I can't fit them all on my desk very nicely. They get in the way. I knock, I nearly knock them on the floor, and that's part of the reason I'm not using them enough. So I need to find a system of putting them somewhere to make them a bit easier. But we'll see. Um, so that was my snail. Had lots of fun with him. Um, yeah. And next, oh yes, I did a couple of postcards, um, which I haven't sent out, so I'm able to show you. Often I send them out before. So this one is from Rita's Asian book, um, the Asian set of postcards. It was a buddy colour, again, with my friend Michelle. And um, I use the Giorgione pencils with those. They're, um, they're a sort of budget brand, but they hold their point really well. So when you've got a small detail page, they are pretty good, pretty good for that. And then this one I also did. Oops, it's come out the other way for you. Um, from the Europa postcards and I used my um, cloud stencil but I used pencil rather than pastel I'm not sure how successful it really was 
I used Black Widow Cobra set for that and I think maybe if I'd used a slightly softer pencil or one that I was a little bit more used to using might have been a bit better but you know I think it added it needed something so I think it gave it that something that it needed. Right now we have Rita's um autumn book. Now I haven't done loads in here I just haven't had time this month to do loads of colouring but um, it'll be there for me when I'm ready. I always love autumn, whether it's autumn or not. Now, this one was a tutorial um, video, which I did. I had such fun with it. You can hopefully see the um, shine on there. A, a, there's a metallic pen around the edge. It's a lot of fun. So there was that one. And I also did this double page. So this took me quite a while. Um, some of these I filmed just as little shorts videos. They weren't tutorials or anything. They were just really quick. I was just experimenting with the old shorts to see how you make them and what you do and what might be popular. So I still have no idea why some are really popular and some just aren't. No, it seems to be no logic. But anyway, I just had fun colouring all these with my Stedler Design Journey pencils. I have to say they aren't the best for this paper. Um, this, the um, leaf came out well and I coloured that with um, Castle Art Soft Touch. The design journey a little bit hard I think for this paper maybe. So uh, I would probably um, use a softer pencil. Right, Hannah Carlson, Seasons. I've done a fair bit from here. Let's see, we're going to fit. Yes. So, oops, let's open it up. Yes, this was a buddy colour with my friend Michelle. She picked this one. And although it's in the winter section of the book and these dots are actually snow, I just decided I was in the autumn colour mood. So I did it in autumnal shades. I used um, Georgian pencils for this. I find there's every pencil I try goes down quite well on this paper. Um, they didn't blend quite as nicely in the gemstone as I'd hoped, but still, I was still happy. And I used the gold pencil for some of the um, gold rather than making a gold, you know, and that was quite interesting. It's, it's a bit shiny, but uh, I like the shade of colour. And I didn't do a background, usually I do, but I didn't on that one. Sometimes, you know, you don't have to. So this one was a series which came out um, with um, a picture, one picture a day um, from this. Um, this is sort of autumn spread. Um, I really enjoyed doing this one. And there's a winter spread, a spring spread and a summer one And because being the season's book. So I may do the winter one um, maybe not in December because we'll probably be more Christmas than winter and then move you know during the winter I might do that oh it's making me feel cold talking about winter now this one I had such fun with um what did I color this 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 was Erga soft with soft pastel in the background and then some Sakura um glitter pen and um, metallic pen. So I put a lot of yellow um, pastel down and then a little bit darker in the corners. So that was fun. Um, I coloured it first, did the pastel after. Because of the way I'd coloured it, it didn't matter if the pastel went on top of the pencil. It's, it tends to resist pastel a little bit anyway. But because of the darkness of the colours the pastel wasn't going to impact it and then did the pen last this is a sort of copper coloured metallic Sakura and this is um, the glittery um, what they called stardust um, one so I had so much fun you know how much I love autumn colours it was just oh, great fun so that is that first Hannah Carlson then I had had daydreams and I picked this one. I was going to do it as an autumnal type colours with the or the blackberries, which I love to colour. But by the time I'd sort of done the blackberries and the flowers in the correct colours and this sort of green, it looked more wintry to me. So I did them ice rather than doing them brown. I did them in grey. I thought it would tie in. Although their crowns are obviously gold, I just felt it would work. And it's quite hard to see. I'm going to bring it up to the camera a little bit. 
but the background is done in the sort of same shade of green as the um, leaves but applied more lightly and then I did some purple splodges it this is soft pastel and I just literally went splodge 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 because um, I wanted to look like there was some sort of blackberry behind but I wasn't probably could have been more confident you know it's a little bit pale but I didn't want it to overtake the whole picture anyway so that was fun and everyone's question no I haven't applied fixative if it rubs off on this page I will just erase it before I color this picture I don't apply fixative in the winter because it smells so badly it uh, it's everyone finds it really nasty and it's just you can't rely on the weather it's too wet to put things outside now this is um, a new book that I was gifted Tales from Forest Kingdom and when I did my flip through, I coloured in this little picture from the front. It's the only picture I've done so far. So say I haven't had loads of time this month. And um, so I haven't done any more yet, but it is a gorgeous book. I'm looking forward to doing well more. Sorry, I'm going to take a bit of time off over Christmas from filming and editing and all those things. And um, I'm going to do determined to have a go at some more skin tone which I would do in either this book or the Forest Kingdom book. Hannah Carlson has a lot of skin tone for us to practice. Now here is our witch's cottage book and there's some glitter on there as well. I'm trying to show you. I can't see if it's showing up or not but I had lovely fun doing that. I used um, Black Widows. The last one I used um, um, Stepler. I used Black Widows for these and the colours just work so well. I was so pleased with how it came out. It looks really magical and shiny and all those things which is brilliant so uh, that was a lot of fun. I'm looking forward to doing more in here. Obviously witchy you sort of think Halloween but you don't have to. There are pictures in here which are more magical than they are scary. A lot of them are anyway. Now here is our um castle arts book now when i did the flip through i did a tiny bit of coloring on the um title page just trying to get in there these are loose where so i've cut them out the pictures and so i finished that off it's not really a page it's just a little bit and i used um the Stedler pencils um they're soft touch and they went down quite well you can see they're quite vibrant um, i can hold it a bit closer for you um, so that was good um, and I did this one which has quite recently gone out as a video um, again I found it a little tricky and I feel like I could have done about four more hours of layers on here really I'm going to try one with um, watercolour pencils at some point and um, see how the paper holds out and how it whether it looks better with that we'll see but um, I was pleased actually and it was a nice spread for autumn it was called autumn bouquet or something but I haven't done any of, I have done one in the Christmas book but that will come out next month so I'll show you it in next month's completed pages this is the flower year sorry my light is I'm not being very friendly now I do one every month from the flower year usually picking a fairly simple one this is a buried Virginia creeper now it looks a little odd. I feel the red with the blue, but I looked up a picture, that's how it looked. So uh, yeah, so there's our Virginia Creeper. Um, polychromos, I always use polychromos in this book. I don't know why. I've just started always using them and that's what I'm using. I might do a, a video. We've got quite a lot of nice winter f flowers in this one, but I'm not sure. I don't normally do videos from here. So we'll see. I'm sort of getting my confidence up really with this book. Now, where are we going next? Oh, we're going to Uplifting Words. I've been done, done quite a few from here. It's often when I'm on the telephone or on Skype, I will randomly just start colouring away a book. So I was on Skype and I did, I had my Georgie own pencils with me and I did, um, and it's, you know, swapping around books and pencils is a bit distracting for everybody. Um, it was a family Skype. We are just nattering away and my mum was knitting and my sister was, I can't remember, doing something or other. So we, I think she was crocheting. So we were all doing crafts together, which was nice. 
So I did this one and this one and this one all with the Giorgio and pencils or while I was on Skype. And I'd often pick these when I'm feeling a little bit tired or um or uh, you know don't want to do anything too tricky so that's nice this one I did with Stedler Design Journey I was just trying out the pencils in the book the pink is really a lovely light colour this one is a sort of Christmassy one I've been doing them in order so I just did it and I made a couple of videos actually um, one from that one which you may have seen little reels and there's one from this one which is coming out today maybe this evening maybe not sure <laughs> so um, I was just playing around really filming myself color and seeing what whether people liked it that one um, I did a long time ago as a buddy color so this one was um, looks like Arteza premium it is I kept it really plain and simple I didn't even do anything on their border don't know why this one I used um, coarse pencils and I just used the silver and the gold it's just a bit of fun just blocks it in sometimes you just like oh it's the end of the day I want a colour but really I can't do anything too much so I'll just do that and this one again similar situation it's done with pen um, these are felt pens um, tripless um, felt pens by Stad Stedler I just wanted to do something vibrant without having to do lots of layers the pen was running out but yeah this one again simple color palette um bambino crayons again just block it in with some crayons so i've got quite a bit of this book left but um it's quite a fun one to just do when you're like tired you know, i've got a few books that i use for that sort of thing this one as well sometimes but not always so this is coloring heaven's patterns book and uh, oops I did this one here look at that my husband's been making me some new bookmarks um, this one here let me just come out a little bit I was kept to a very limited colour palette I think I can guess um, yes yeah, Stedler Design Journey again just trying out the pencils um, and just using a few shades really and I was really happy with how it came out to be honest um, I did a little bit of shading on the flowers but kept the um, the rest really simple. Whoops. And this one was done with Castle Arts gel pens. I think they're metallic. They're quite shiny, aren't they? they must be. I don't know. But anyway, um, that um, it was just a bit different. I would like the colours. It was fun. Again, you know, you don't have to do shading all the time. Now this, st oops, this stunning patterns book again. Oh, it's reflecting the light. Another one I'm working through. It's sort of in order now, and the pages are quite thin. And even this sort of felt tip pen shows through the page. You can see it all here. There. So um, I had to be a bit careful what I use. So here I just use metallic Castle Arts metallic pencils. I had a lot of fun with them. And then on this page I used um, coarse pencils. So just trying that brown and orange autumnal palette. And again, just plonking the colour down, as you do, plonk. <laughs> Without any shading or anything, just for fun. So. We get to Maria Tro Trolley now. We get a bit more, um, a bit more sophisticated in our colouring so this one was a video so our very autumnal looking mandala or circle design um, I had great fun with those colours I just love them um, I just need to turn the page of my book to find out what I used um, polychromos oh I forgot to mention these is next in my book the graphy bookmarks I did loads of these and I finished the book um, I've done a flip through of this book so I'm not going to show you them because it's you know just the same so I think the flip through might have come out yesterday so um, you can have a look at that if you want to I won't show you those again so there was that one lovely fun as I say there's a video for this one and then we have my other Maria Trolley book Botanicum 
and oh, I can't get it open. And this one, which was also a video, was our little blackberry fairy as I called her. I had such fun with this one. You can see her shiny wings, maybe. Maybe there? I'm not sure. But uh, there she is. I had so there were three videos for this one. Um, it was great fun. And I used um, Derwent Lightfast pencils. Now, Millie Marotta. I did a couple in here, I think. This is her Wildlife Wonders, which is her compilation book. Yeah, I've got a scrappy piece of paper in there which tells me the name of the animal. So, again, autumnal, in the mood for autumn colours. So, I tried something very um, simple with a few different shades of brown and he is the field mouse and I use Castle Arts Botanical for that. Now I find Mini Marotta's paper is quite fussy. These didn't go down as well as I'd hoped. Um, some pencils definitely do better than others. However, these are the Castle Arts Metallic and they went down quite well, which doesn't really, I think they're a bit softer than the um, soft touch, which doesn't make sense but for the name but I think these did go down a little bit better but I do find with the car starts metallic it can be quite hard to get them looking even so uh, I think it's just due to the metallic pigments and I also dabbled in the sea <laughs> had a little paddle and uh, had some fun with this little chap this is um, obviously a pelican. Pelicans are very rarely pink and purple, but I just wanted to have fun, do something a little bit different. And I coloured it with um, Castle Arts Monet set. Yes, so that was fun. I wanted those nice pinks and purples for that one. I say nice, you know, I'm not a pinky person, but it's coming, I'm getting them. Right. Now we have Reptiloids. I did a video for this particular page, which was fun. It has, came out quite near the end of the month. I was um, looking for a slight autumnal feel to the page with our autumn leaves. And I used, I am looking, um, Castle Arts Gold for that page. There he is. Now this is, um, this is Amazon paper. So a, a softer pencil works much better. So our taser experts, Castle Art, Gold, Prismas, things like that, I find are better on the paper. But I do try all sorts on there. Got a bit of dust on the book. There we go. Now this book, um, I did one mandala from this book. Um, I did the peacock. Again, this is um, Amazon paper. A lot of my books are, but this is like the... This is American Amazon paper and it's different to UK Amazon paper. So what you use can, you know, it depends on the paper. Now this is coloured with um, Castle Arts Gold. As I said, they tend to work better. But the um, outside part, the gold part, is actually coloured with a Stedler um, metallic pen. Not 100% impressed with the Stedler metallic pens I have to say it really isn't shiny the pencil looks shinier than the pen not not really impressed it's a nice color which is fine because that's that's half of it but there's no shine which is a shame but I had fun with him now matchstick mouse now I've got a few post-its in here for pages that I'm going to make videos of for December but um, and I've made one which I'm not going to show you until December but this one I did do um, as a buddy colour with my friend Michelle and I used a lot of stickles so this is coloured with Ergosoft pencils but on the green Nuri there are gold stickles on the pine cone there is diamond stickles and on the snow looks like there's a silver glitter pen i didn't write it all down but that was a lot of fun quite a simple one but, but so i wanted to make it shine because it was simple i won't show you the other one which i'm going to put that in a separate pile because i've got a record from that now the lovely floral book um matchstick mouse is the only other one that i haven't finished and uh 
did this um, really fun picture. I wanted to do an autumnal palette. Should we come in a bit closer? And uh, this was actually a video anyway, so you may have seen it. But as I say, I wanted to do an autumnal palette, so I just grabbed my oranges and yellows and things. And this was done with Arteza Expert. I think you've seen the other ones I've done in here. I'm pretty sure I've shown them. That one as well was a buddy colour. I'm sure I did this. I might have only done that this month. Um, I used a colour colour cube card number eighty four. Um, the friend that I coloured this with, Kylie, she's got the colour cubes, so she picked a colour cube card and we coloured using the card. It was amazing fun. And when I get my colour cubes for Christmas, I am going to do some of those in a video. So I've asked Sarah Renee Clark's permission that she's put together the colour cubes and said can I feature them in videos and she's like yes as long as you um, credit me which is absolutely fair and I thought I could show you how I use a card in a picture would be fun so that's that one so I say you may have seen it having memory issues <laughs> I just blame the menopause I can blame it on everything right so this is um, Night Garden by RJ Hampson and this page again was a video which you may have seen already so I used um, polycolor pencils so my tin of 12 so I haven't got a big range of pencils but I still managed to get quite a good um, range of colors I felt so with the reds and the greens and the browns and oranges and yellows so I was pleased with how that came out again leaning towards an autumn palette because of the time of year and I used some it looks like Sakura metallic pens for some of the outlining so it was great fun that was that one now where are we I'm losing my place oh we're in aha uh -huh, Atlas Botanica this is I don't know why I'm doing volume two before one I've got volume one to come in a minute so this is a grayscale book and I'm still practicing my grayscale techniques but um, it's really fun to do that um, and this is a Sephora plant it tells you down here in this latin text and i look them up and see how they look i use prismas for this and pretty much the seeds are almost the same color as the leaves and the flowers are white so it wasn't a great deal to do but i was playing around with the grayscale how to color it where to put the color so that was fun so i enjoyed that i'm still learning as i said um and um i've been contacted by farris publishing who make both these books to, to tell me they've got volumes three and four out as well and uh so that's interesting they haven't sent me them they sent me these for free i have to say and um, disclaimer to uh to show you so um i've had them for quite a while but the other two books they haven't sent me but i explained to them i have still finishing these off you know and um so they've got other books if you if you've got these and you like them you might want to know that they've got others this is a guinea pepper so i colored this using um 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 where am i there i am course pencils i think the prismas did better on this paper again this is amazon paper but it's this i don't know where this was printed maybe it's not amazon paper it doesn't say it is on the back Hmm. Oh, hang on. There it is. Printed in Great Britain. Yeah. Oh, I did. I. That's right. I bought these, and he reimbursed me the cost of them. So they're UK Amazon pay because he's not British. The the guy who contacted me. But that. But that. These have white flowers. I really struggle with white. I'm. I've seen a few um, videos on how to color white, and I need to pay more attention. Now this book is a new book that my friend Michelle gave me. I've done a flip through video um, which will come out soon, I can't think when, and so I'm not going to show you the page I did for the video, but I've, we've done another buddy colour page since, which is this page. Now this book is Amazon paper, and these pencils I used for this were polycolour. Now I like the um, 
I quite like the way they went down to be honest. You can always see a lot of white paper when you use the Amazon paper unless you really blend it, you use a blending pencil or whatever. And you can see here, the paper here is quite thin. This is a gel pen. And you can see I've never had that happen before with the gel pens going through. It doesn't matter because it's, I won't reveal, but it's a single-sided book. So it doesn't matter if the pens and pencils go through, just put some paper behind. I had fun with that one, limited colour palette. Not very autumnal, but yeah. Now, Microscopic Marvels, again, another book that I was sent. Um, Jennifer Delaney is still publishing it. She does signings at times, but she's Irish. So unless you're in Ireland, getting a hold of a signed copy isn't easy. But I'm just working through the pictures in order. And I started with this one over here. And I wanted something quite light and pastely because this is a nasty virus. I can't remember which one it is. So um, I wanted it to look nice. And uh, so I coloured that with cause pencils, the um, pastel set that they do. Now here, I wanted something bright. These, this is COVID, I think. Um, the, um, I think it is. Um, and I used Castle Art gel pens. I wanted to see how much they went through the page. They didn't. There's a bit of ghosting, the tiniest bit of ghosting, if you um, hold it up to the light. But really, it's very, very good. So that was interesting. Because of all the small details, I felt I wanted to use pen. I used a plain pen there and a metallic one for the ones on the edge, just to make them look a little bit different. So uh, that was a bit different for me, a bit of fun. Right, this is another new book that my friend Michelle sent me to do buddy colours in. Again, there's a flip through coming today. No, don't know. Maybe you've had it, I'm not sure. It's a flip through coming, so I'm not going to show you the page I coloured for the flip through, I don't think. Oh, I am, because you've had the flip through yesterday. That's right, you had the flip through yesterday. So this page, I think I did this small one for the um, flip through, but um, I finished it off and just sort of made them match, really. And I coloured, again, this is Amazon um, US paper. I um, coloured this with Arteza Expert. I have to say, they've worked quite well. I did use a blending pencil to get um, more intense colour on that one. And then we did this one, which was fun. I have to write your name in. I used a white. It doesn't show up that well. I thought it might show up better. But I used Chromaflow. Um, so that was fun. Um, we've got this fun sort of Venus flytrap, little frog. So it's a fun one to do. And the Chromaflow has held up quite well, I thought. It's quite light, but I didn't. I wanted some contrast for the leaves to be darker, so I think that was okay. And then we did this one as well. Um, I used Arteza Expert, which went down pretty well. Quite a few layers. I think if you like to layer, this paper's good because it can take loads of layers. In the sky, we've got a bit of pen, a bit of shine on the cloud edges. So that's a fun, that was a fun one. And then we have Magical Season. Now again, I'll open quickly because of the glare. I've done a flip through and a bit of a colour. Now this is a grayscale book. Different to Atlas Botanica. It's, a, it's the grayscale is, is different. Now this is coloured using um, Castle Arts Gold. Um, but... Um, Oh, I've also done this page, which I used Arteza Premium and some pen, metallic pen. Now, which I didn't put a bookmark in for some odd reason, I haven't put my name in either. Um, I find you need to layer a fair bit, but you've got some of the um, dark areas marked on for you. When I did my flip through, which you'll see in the future, <laughs> it's confusing, I know. I experimented with different methods of playing around with the grayscale and so you'll be able to see that and uh, ha learn from it I hope because i would not really used a grayscale book quite like this. If you look at the um, tree ornaments for example, let's look at this one. I don't know how close I can come without going out of focus. It's got a darker layer around here where there's grey underneath 
but there's a white bit that's been left which I went over with a white pencil to make it a pen to make it stand out even more so it's got some details in there for you I found it really fun and interesting and it helped me learn where I might put darker colour when I'm colouring so if you look at the poinsettia you can imagine the grayscale was all in the bits that are darker so it just taught, teaches you how to do it so I felt this was good um, I'm not sure about how like the only thing is that when you colour this for example you can see the grey through it because it's such a pale colour so and the same with the corn I can see grey through there rather than a colour so that's something I still need to address and think about but um, I was really pleased with it and again American pa um, Amazon paper so it's a little bit rough but that's okay I did drew some fur on my bunny so uh, that was fun too so that is that one so that was my last page for this month as I say I have got the graphy bookmarks which I'm not going to go through um, there'll be a video for those. You may have already had it. Um, I can't, I'm a bit confused with my scheduling at the minute. Um, I've got a lot going on. But that is me for this month. So thank you very much for watching. Um, I hope um, that was interesting for you. Next month we will have lots of glitter, lots of Christmas colours, lots of fun. I So far I'm just starting to get into Christmas colours. Fab fun. Anyway, and look out for tomorrow... I have starting a World's Rooms of Wonder festive food series. Members get the whole series tomorrow. Um, Non-members will get one a day. It's a 20-part series. It's not quite Advent. I didn't... You know, it's not starting tomorrow. It's starting the day after. I think it's the second or third, actually. But at, um, there'll be a little video every morning, apart from Planner Day, when it'll be in the afternoon, of... Um, of um, the food page from Rooms of Wonder done in a festive style. I had such fun making it, so I really hope you enjoy it. But uh, for now, thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe if you haven't done so already. It's really appreciated. Thank you for all your support this month and happy colouring.